man left his wife and young daughter. Twenty years later, the girl met a beggar who turned out to be her father. Sometimes we come to the wrong conclusions in life. All too often we make assumptions about other people without knowing all the facts. We can even have negative emotions towards them based merely on our assumptions. Today, Animals My Love is sharing such a story with you. Diana Kim lives in Honolulu, Hawaii. She is a law student and an avid photographer. Her passion for photography was sparked by her dad, who had his own photography studio in Honolulu. However, until just a few years ago, there was no connection to speak of between her and her dad. She was deeply disappointed and hurt by his absence. A chance encounter brought them together again, sparking an extraordinary and touching journey for both of them. Her parents split up when she was young, but she never forgot her dad's photography studio and how he used to give her sweeties behind her mom's back. Unfortunately, her dad became alienated from them. Life was not easy for Diana and her mom, and her mom struggled to make ends meet. They had to move around a lot, and Diana spent most of her childhood years living with relatives or friends. At the worst of times, her and her mom had to resort to sleeping in the car. Despite these early hardships, Diana has managed to make a good life for herself. She happily married and she has two kids. She pursued her dreams and passions. During her student years, she started a personal photography project to photograph homeless people on the street. Little did she know that this would lead to the Homeless Paradise, an initiative dedicated to humanizing the homeless by sharing their stories. It was sending a powerful message about the homeless and about them not just wanting to survive, but rather thrive. Although Diana's project shaped much of her life and her decision to go into law school, the biggest impact came in 2012. While documenting homeless people on the streets of Honolulu, Diana came across her own father. The man who she remembered abandoning her as a child was now homeless, unwashed, dressed in rags and extremely thin. Worst of all, he didn't even recognize her. For the next two years, repeatedly she visited the street that her dad called home. Sometimes he would be there and sometimes not. He was afflicted with severe schizophrenia, he was often unresponsive or would argue intensely with the empty space in front of him. He refused to get treatment, take medication, sometimes he refused to eat, he refused flat out to bath or wear any of the new clothes that Diana gave him. While watching him from her car one day, witnessing one of his angry spells, Diana wondered if there was ever going to be any hope for him at all. Despite the hopelessness around his situation, she refused to give up. She recalled one of the last real conversations she had had with him, in which he apologized to her for not being there for when she needed him. He had congratulated her on her family and said, I just know that you will do better for them than I ever did for you. Don't worry about me or what anyone says. If you want to make me proud, be there for your family. Stop trying to save everyone. Just worry about you and your family. And don't forget why I named you Diana. You are the light within the darkness. In that moment, when the memory of that conversation flooded her mind, she instantly forgave him and her heart was full of love for him. She promised herself that she would never give up on him. One day, she received the shocking news from a relative. Her father had a heart attack. He was found face down on the sidewalk, but someone called the cops and he was rushed to critical care at the hospital. At the hospital, Diana saw her father lying there, looking cleaner and better than she had ever seen him in a long time. 
Her and her husband sat by his side for hours. And then, just as they were about to leave, her dad's eyes opened and he called out her name. The next few months were difficult, as he went through ups and downs during his stay at the hospital. Despite his health problems, there was a silver lining to his heart attack. It led to the healing of his mental health and slowly, day by day, he took control of his life again. Just the other day, her dad called her and invited her to coffee. They met on the exact same street where his photography studio used to be when she was a girl. She was shocked to see him. He looked better than ever. They visited the Buddha's temple and paid their respects. Her dad showed her some of the old photos of her. He had kept them all these years. And finally, they had a long heartfelt conversation. Their meeting truly was a miracle. Every day is a gift. Some days are more challenging than others. But this story is a reminder of the strength of the human spirit and how precious life is. We hope that the story we share today will shed a light of compassion for those who live on the streets today. Every person has their own story of struggle, hope and love. If you want to help, be compassionate and help in the best way that you can. If you enjoyed our story, please help us by liking and sharing it to spread the love and compassion far and wide. Thank you for watching our video. Best wishes for you. Bye bye and see you.